new Fox series, The Big Leap, is airing tonight, and it focuses on a group of diverse people competing for a chance to be on a dance reality show. For some in the group, it's a chance. For others, it's a last chance at achieving their dream or goal. And like the characters on the show, thoughts and actions can often hinder us from achieving our own goals. Dr. Candice Setti, clinical psychologist and behavior change specialist, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about this. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So let's first talk about uh, what this behavior can look like. What exactly is self-sabotaging behavior? Well, I mean, it's it's essentially knowing what you want and taking steps or engaging in actions to prevent that. And from a very simplistic standpoint, it's standing in your own way, um, doing things that, that hinder you instead of help you. And it's one of these things that almost everybody engages in in some way and people don't really understand logically why they would. If you want something, why would you take steps to not make that happen? But the reality is that, that most of us engage in it in some form or another. It's just essentially how, how impactful it is, how frequent it is, and how severe it is that really differentiates us and, and addresses you know, how impactful this is in our life. Right, Dr. Sati, if you're saying that uh, a lot of people, most of us experience this, what are some things to look out for? What if we don't know we're experiencing this? Well, the, the way to pay attention to it is really to focus on what your goals are, what it is that you're trying to achieve. And if you're clear on that, if you have a good understanding of what you want, then you can continually assess your actions and say, am I taking steps that help me achieve this or am I taking steps that move me further away from this? And you see this all the time with behaviors like procrastination or avoidance or overthinking or self-criticism. And when you see those behaviors, can you say, you know, am I avoiding something that may actually be helping me if I weren't avoiding it? Am I procrastinating on something that could benefit me if I were actively engaging it? Am I criticizing myself in a way that's holding me back and stopping me from actually taking action? to move towards what I want. But you really do need to be clear on what it is you want in order to say, am I engaging in behaviors that are moving me towards this or moving me away from this? Right, sounds like a lot of thought monitoring goes into that. Now, Dr. Seti, if we are recognizing it, what's the next step? How do we really confront this or help change that mindset? Well, I mean, like I said, you do need to pay attention to it. And the more you see it, the more you can see where your repetition comes up. What are some of these thoughts that are really standing in your way? Are you having thoughts like, oh, just put it off. You can do it another day. Or are you having thoughts that say, you'll never succeed, so why bother? Um, when you start to see how these thoughts come up and how they repeat themselves, then you can start to look at how can I stop that behavior? How can I do something different? And so much of self-sabotage is fear-based. So we really do need to look at how we can face those fears head on. And that's a really scary thing for a lot of people. So it can certainly start with baby steps. But if you can say, you know, these 10 things are really scary. Let me look at the thing that's maybe the least scary on that list. And let me look at how I can expose myself to that in a way that starts to take the fear and the power away from that fear. Right. And as you get more comfortable there, you can kind of keep moving and keep facing some of those fears because those fears can be debilitating. So when we face them, we take the power away from them, and then we continue to, to move forward. Right. But we also and need to look at our thinking patterns, our thought patterns. And like I mentioned, these thoughts that stand in our way, these thoughts that tell us to put it off or, you know, we're not going to have success, so why bother? And we really need to challenge these thoughts because these thoughts are not rooted in logic. Um, they're not rational. And if we can respond to them in a rational way, it's a lot harder to fight. If I have a thought that says, you know, I can just do it later, the rational thought is I'll probably feel better if I do it now. Or, you know, if I don't put it off, I can put more time and effort into it and make it even better. So maybe that's a better way to engage. And those are really hard thoughts to dispute because they are more rooted in logic. Right. Well, some great information you've given us this morning. Not the only way to get over some of the things that hold us back, but certainly an important way to take a look at that. Dr. Candace Sati, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.